Many newspapers provide access to their articles online for free, at least for a limited period of time. One of the places where you can access all of these different news articles is through Google. If you go to Google's homepage and you'll go to the right top corner, you'll notice there's a little waffle or a series of nine uh, little squares. That little waffle allows you to have access to a number of different Google products. And one of those products is Google News. Once you click on Google News, you'll be taken to a list of various headlines and subtopics. So to the left, you have top stories. That's what we're seeing now. You can personalize your list of news stories depending on uh, what your interests are. Or you can see down below, there are various topics such as COVID-19 articles, articles related to the US, world, local news, business, technology, etc. You can adjust those settings down below if you have an interest in doing that. What Google manages to do in its news interface is to locate and provide access to articles that are generally available for free online. It will pull in headlines from newspapers such as the Washington Post. It will pull in uh, articles from websites such as CNN and uh, Fox News, etc. You'll see Forbes, Boston Globe, etc. What you'll also notice as you start to expand upon the full coverage link is that some of the articles come from news sources that are perhaps not as equally credible as others. So The Sun is a British newspaper that is more of a tabloid newspaper. And then, of course, you will have the left and right extremes of various newspapers, Fox News being more uh, right-leaning, and sources such as The New York Times being slightly uh, left-leaning. So what they do with Google is they'll combine all of these news sources into a searchable interface. You can go up to the top of Google News and type in your, your search terms. So if we want to look up something about uh, the protests, it will pull up the most recent items that are available within its collection. And again, what will happen is it provides links to the news sources directly. So if you want to go into the Telegraph, you would click on that result. It would take you to, in this case, it's a YouTube video put out by that particular uh, news source. You can also read various articles. Sometimes what you may find is that some of the articles that are linked have a paywall. So if it links to the New York Times, it may provide the full text. But if it links to something like the Chicago Tribune, sometimes the articles are blocked and don't provide access to the article itself because they would like you to subscribe. So Google News is a great way to get started if you're looking for topics. It will link to um, the most recently published items are generally what I would use Google News to search. It's something that I would get up in the morning, check my news sources, and see what's happening in the day. It's maybe perhaps perhaps not the best way to search for news articles that are a little bit more historical in nature or that are not as contemporary or recent. I would use the library databases for those. But that is a little precursor of how you can search Google News. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your librarians. We're more than happy to help. Take care.